Okay, so we're going to cover spawning. This is essentially just going to cover a simple enemy spawn. I want to talk about the different methods for spawning and how the game does it in general. And then we're going to implement something more specific to spawn something right away. So the very first part we're going to talk about is how does it do it right now? So when you go into the game, when the game starts up, what does it do? Well, there's a thing called an NPC territory spawner. The territory spawner is this very complicated mess of things. If we look at the actual object, which I have one on the landscape already, it has um, a bunch of different parameters. Uh, essentially, this is your types of regions, deserts, highlands, swamp, forest, the subregion, um, and then you also have the roam radius, so you can kind of set where they're at, whether they can um, spawn underneath the roofs. This is, let's say, they're humans, thralls, or something like that. Um, and then if they should be spawned from a trigger event. As we go through this, um, you can kind of look and, and see there's a lot of really fun stuff to play with here. It will spawn stuff just however you want, and you can kind of place them all over the place. As you go through, you see two very important things. NPCs, I just hit the plus here. This creates an empty NPC. You can select whatever kind of character you want, whatever monster. Um, if we wanted a Ray Grant, uh, gray rhino you can pick that guy up um, I'm gonna say I want a maximum of three of them um, day night spawning this um, will tell you whether it's spawning at day or night uh, the spawn time in this case uh, I believe it's milliseconds we're gonna change this to one so it spawns everything right away um, we don't need a spawn table Default NPC behavior is fine unless you're setting up a thrall or a uh, fighting thrall or something like that. So as we start the game, just with this guy sitting here, so it's it's basically just going to kick off and go, great, I'll spawn three rhinos, three gray rhinos right at this spot. So we're going to start it up, and there we go. There's our three gray rhinos. They're going to start to wander around within their limits and do whatever gray rhinos do. So that's the basics. Now, there's a lot of different ways this works. So let's talk about how it actually does this. It's pretty straightforward. It just goes through that loop. Um, let's see, right here. It goes in, there's an event spawn all, which when it looks, it starts to go through this. It's gonna go through that NPC array. It's gonna loop them. And it's going to start creating them based on the total spawn count, you know, how many it's allowed to have. And it's going to go and do this spawn um, enemy. We also create a NPC spawn entry. So, and that's based on the array. Well, we have some other stuff. Um, basically, the begin play, end play kind of sets up, registers territories, and then, you know, does some other stuff. But this spawning bit is inside of here. It goes in, tries to um, loop through each of these guys, and then the actual spawning is unfortunately a little bit complicated. So it goes in and it tries to get this, this entry, which has lots of stuff. It's all the parameters we set, plus a few more defaults from tables and all over the place. There's a bunch of conditions. Um, I'm not going to go through all this. Feel free to spend all your time doing it. Um, we check in day night time um, cycles. Um, there's a, it'll compare against the weighted list somewhere in here as well. Uh, let's see. I think that is. Uh, I don't see it offhand. But anyhow, um, it'll go through all the different data, it'll go through and spawn everything. And uh, the very last step is it constructs an NPC behavior. And the very last thing is it does the spawn NPC low level, which takes in a ton of parameters. Now, we do not want to reproduce this. It's a pain in the butt. There's tons of parameters. There's all kinds of stuff. And we don't want to try to do all this ourselves. It's 
it's much better to use the tables. So we're going to very simply wrap this guy up. But before we do that, we should talk about the other ways that you can create stuff. The um, base game mode, um, it has a way to spawn as well. And this will kind of loop through and do, do something very similar. Um, the other very common way is to open the admin panel. And it will do essentially the same thing we just saw, but on demand for a specific creature. So we go in, check and see um, if we're admin. Then it'll go in and get the list table from the entry that we typed in or selected from that that drop down or that excuse me that uh, scroll view, and then from there it'll do the exact same parameter. So it just constructs all this different data and outputs it, um, and then at the very end spawns this guy and then outputs it. Um, it can also handle thralls and all that fun stuff. So a couple different ways, um, and this is in the um, BP control spawn helper. Um, the territory spawner, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use that. So I'm going to create a new blueprint. So this is kind of, I want to be able to control this dynamically. I, I, I'm not going to modify the existing. I just want to wrap it up and, and make it useful. So I'm going to go in and... I've already got a blueprint, but I'm going to recreate it so you guys can kind of follow along in the logic here. Um, this guy is just an actor. So we go and create a blueprint actor. BP um, custom spawner. So the custom spawner is going to go in and I need a couple of variables. One, I need to take in that uh, NPC spawner. So, so we're going to take in a variable that sets us. Um, we're going to make it type uh, NPC territory spawner, and we're going to grab a reference. That way, we can set it externally. So, we're going to set this variable um, to NPC territory spawner. And the reason I want to do this is I want to be able to place the territory spawner, um, not have to deal with you know, moving it around, doing anything like that. Um, that way, this is really just acting. I can load this blueprint up wherever I want, and it's a little disconnected, which, honestly, I like. That way, I don't have to, um, you know, tie it tightly to the, the code. If anything changes, it's very easy for me to change my logic. So, um, we're going to call, call this uh, spawner. And... We're going to make sure that it is public. And finally, we need, uh, let's see, I'm going to say enabled. So I'm going to put a delay on this. I'm going to have it spawn something continuously for X amount of time. I think that's a good test. Um, let me change this to a Boolean type. And now we'll have something going on here, but we still need to do some other things. So let's, off of the event tick, let's throw a delay in here. Our delay, we're going to set it to um, just kick off. Actually, let's set the uh, delay in here to be um, a variable. Delay seconds. All right, so let's make this an int. And now we can drag this guy up here. And now we have, oh wait, what is what is this expecting? Oh, it's a float. Let me change my type. Oh yeah, because it's Melissa, yeah, partial seconds. That totally makes sense. Uh, let's put a reasonable default in. We have to compile. Uh, we're just going to put it one second. Uh, enabled to true by default. So that way it just starts working. And then now we can go in and, uh, and actually set up the... Um, let's, let's first make the thing that's going to... 
um, define what we're spawning. So to do that, we need a make NPC spawn entry. So that array that I showed you earlier for the um, NPC territory spawner, that is actually a collection of MP spawn, NPC spawn entities or entries, sorry. So we're going to set this guy up. Um, let's do uh, gazelles. And we're going to set some basic parameters. This is something in your blueprint you could set dynamically. You could give a list. You can randomize. You can do all kinds of stuff, whatever logic you want. Um, and again, this is just using the the other guy. So we can set all of these values. We're going to say, again, let's set it to 10. Um, the current count is 0. Um, again, the spawn time uh, doesn't matter as much. We're going to set it to 1. So that way it just goes whenever we, we tell. Actually, uh, let's leave this like that. So this is going to create one ent ent entry. Excuse me. So from here, we need to turn this guy into an array. Actually, let's grab this. As actually, we're going to need a getter for this guy, and then off of here, we can do a set NPCs. So, here's our array on that spawner. We're going to replace it so it'll make an array of our single, single entry, and then uh. Let's connect this guy up. And then I think the last thing we need to do is probably just do a uh, spawn enemy, which is again calling the NPC spawner uh, territory spawner. So let's do exactly that. Man, brutal. There we go. Okay, so at this point, I think it should spawn ten gazelles. So, and actually, we want to probably set this to one, so it'll just keep spawning. Okay. Let's give it a go, and it should be enabled. Let's see how we did. Oh, it's still spawning our, uh, our other guys. I think the gazelles made me inside of there. So let's go back. <laughs> that was great. So let's go back and delete the NPCs so it doesn't spawn the... Uh, The gray rhinos. That is definitely not what we wanted. Uh, I don't see my guys spawning. Oh, maybe I, I haven't set up the variables yet. I had it pointing at the other one, so that one is disabled. So let's go into um, and drag our custom spawner right here, just so it, it runs. We could create this in a million different ways. We're going to set this guy as our territory spawner. We're going to set it in enabled. And now we should be good. Let's see. Yep. Every uh, every second or so. And this will just kind of keep spawning forever. So we got a nice little pile of gazelles there. Eventually the frame rate will sink to nothing. That's kind of cool how they're stacking like that. So there you go. That's the basics of spawning. Um, this is a fun little thing. Um, it's very simple. It makes uh, spawning trivial, and it gives you a lot of control. Um, we could obviously, instead of a delay, have a set number, have set positions to move them to. Um, we're getting back um, once we we spawn the enemy, we can we can pretty much do whatever we want. So, it gives a lot of options. All right, guys. Uh, Feel free to leave a comment and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see or anything improved.
Thanks a lot.